Hi friends! So today I wanted to share with you a craft that you can do to make a centerpiece for your Seder. Um, I saw that Ms. Bev uploaded some um, creative way to make a table marker for uh, the name plays for the people that are joining you at your Seder table. Um, whether that be through a uh, computer like I'm talking to you now or through in person. So if you made those or want to make those, this would be great to finish out your little DIY um, uh, Seder table, which I think is really adorable that our kiddos get to be so involved with our uh, decorations. So what you'll need first is, um, well, what you'll need is a container. Um, the instructions that I'm going off of, I will actually link the page into the description box um, of this video, but they say a paper cup, you can use, this is an old frosting container, um, you can also use a jar, you can use a plastic cup, whatever you choose. Um, we're going to be decorating these um, to hold our flowers. We're going to make our own flowers out of tissue paper and pipe cleaners. So if you do not have tissue paper, I just happen to have a lot of tissue paper on hand because anytime I get a gift, I save the tissue paper. But if you don't have any tissue paper at home, you can also use an egg carton. I'm sure you've all seen the egg carton flower craft. You would um, you cut these out individually and that's what you use to make your flower instead. But today we're gonna be using tissue paper. So you'll want to cut out uh, between eight and 12 circles. And these circles can be really any size, uh, depending on how big or small you want your flower. They suggest five inches, but uh, I know that mine are probably a little bit smaller than that, and I think that it's fine. I don't think you have to be very precise with this. Um, and you'll need a pipe cleaner for the stem. So I'm just going to be making one flower today, but you can make several to fill your container. And you'll need something to put in your container to um, hold up the flowers. You can use pebbles, uh, you can use rice, you can use um, beans, you can use salt. Um, today I will be using orzo. So first you can decorate your container. You can use stickers, markers, paint, crayons if it's a paper one, um, or expo markers, paint markers, anything. Uh, you can use ribbon. I'm going to wrap mine with a red ribbon. So I will start at the bottom of my container and wrap it around. And you can decorate your container any way that you want. I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful flowers that you make, all of your beautiful centerpieces, and see how you decided to decorate your container. So I am wrapping, wrapping, wrapping my whole container with this ribbon. Um, let's see, there we go. And for right now, I'm just gonna put the extra inside my container and I can take it out and cut it later. So this is my container. Let's see, now we can make our flower. So, parents will need to help with this first step. You're gonna put all of your circles together and poke a hole through the center. I used a pair of scissors to poke a hole through the center. If you need to use scissors, you need to ask your mommy or daddy to help you poke the hole. Once you have the hole in the middle of your flower, in the middle of your circles, you're going to insert your pipe cleaner through that middle hole. Okay, you don't have to push it too far up, just a little bit like that. Then you're gonna fold over this top piece and give it a little twist to make like a little knot so that the tissue paper does not come off your pipe cleaner. Okay, so the first step to make your flower is to take the very first tissue circle and crump, bring it up towards the center and crumple it uh, just a little bit to make the center of your flower. Then you're gonna take each individual tissue circle and bring it up and around and crumple it around your centerpiece. 
And if you push up and the tissue paper comes off, that's okay. You can just make your make your knot a little better. All right. So we're going to crumple. And you're going to do that for each one. You don't have to be very precise. You can make your flower any way you want. I chose to make my flower half pink and half purple. So we'll see how that comes out. So you're going to keep bringing up each individual's tissue circle and crumpling it around the center any way you want. We're getting pretty big over here. This flower is getting big. Flowers comes in, come in all different shapes and sizes and some are really, really big and have lots of petals and some are smaller and don't have as many. So maybe you'll make a small flower too. Okay, I'm on my last one here. I'm gonna crumple it up, up and around, up and around. You might need to play with it a little bit to get them all together. And there's our first flower. I think it turned out pretty cute. So now we'll set that down and then you're gonna take your container and whatever you chose to you put inside your container you're gonna pour it in. So I have my orzo here. I think I'm gonna remove my um, extra ribbon. All right. So pour it in. You can fill it a little bit, like maybe halfway. Let's see, try not to make a mess over here, but if we spill, that is okay. We'll clean it up. All right. Then, once you have your rice or your pebbles or your um, salt in there, you can put your, your flower in like this with its long stem and kind of push it underneath your whatever you put in your container. Or if you want a shorter flower, you can fold your pipe cleaner in half. And this makes it a little bit sturdier, but when you put it in your container, it'll be a little shorter. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer and push it down into my orzo so that it stands up. Okay, then once you have it in there, I didn't finish doing my ribbon very well, so it's kind of coming undone, but it's okay. I'll fix that at the end. Then you'll pour in more of your um, whatever you decided to use for weight, you'll pour more there and now your flower's sticking up and you might have to adjust your petals just a little bit. There we go. So there's our flower and you can make more flowers to put in there and then you'll have a full centerpiece. And I am so excited to see the centerpieces you make for your Seder table. 